All right, guys, welcome back to some more MLB Innings 22. And so today we're finally going to get our Sig Gagne to Black Diamond, finish his train and special train him up. And then after that, we're going to try and get some more skills on Kuo. Last week didn't go too hot. So let's go get this thing started. Okay, so this week we don't have any players to upgrade. So we're going to go straight into finishing Gagne's train with amp tickets. And then we'll Black Diamond him, do some special training, and then head over to Kuo. And this is the train we got on Gagne, 12 location, 15 velo, 4 stamina, 12 fastball and 5 break. We were waiting to finish this until we saw the skills we got. That's what we got. We're going to stick with. We're going to go 8 location, 1 velo. Let's go ahead and do that. So we're going to go, let's just go location 2, velo 1 to make sure we get the velo in there. And then we will go all location after that and he'll be finished off. So excited to finally get this card, Black Diamond, and finish the train and uh, get some diamond skills on him. We're going to go boss to level 8 as well. I believe that's the plus 3. Yep. Get that one done and then we got one more and he will be done with the train so let's go ahead and do that and there we go so now that he is fully trained this is what we got we got 20 to location 16 to velo 4 to stamina 12 to fastball and 5 to break 36 to the left is the most i've had that's pretty strong right there now it is finally time to make him black diamond Real quick, we have 249 black diamond pieces and it's going to cost 160 for a sig gagne leaving us with about 90 left and a question i have for you guys is we have some normal team diamonds in Hernandez 18, his best year right there. And then we also have McGee 20, his best year. And they don't have SIG years. So they are good cards for pitchers and batters chemistry. My question is, is should we use 60 and 60 on them when we get to 120 black diamond pieces and go for batters and pitchers chemistry with premium skill change tickets or save those pieces for the next team select SIG, which will be here in a few weeks. I know we're starting to get that point to where pitchers and batters chemistry would be important for me, but... I just don't know if that's the right timing, and I wanted to get your guys' opinion. All right, so here we go. Let's make our Sig Gagne a black diamond, my favorite animation. And I'm still advocating for an update to where we can do all 160 pieces at once and not have to do 10, 10, 10, 10 all the way through. It takes forever. But let's go ahead and get this thing started. First 10. There we go. Only 15 more times I got to do this. Okay, 10 more pieces to go, and then he will finally be a black diamond card. Let's go ahead and do it. Three, two, one. My favorite animation, Whew. I must say, I still can't We got can't believe we got this card, and there he is, looking awesome right there, and now we just gotta go ahead and train him up, special train him, and get diamond skills, level eight skill and stuff like that, but uh, looking beautiful right there, cannot wait, let's go ahead and do that. Now let's go ahead and special train our new black diamond Sig Gagne, and I think we'll be able to for sure get to level six and get diamond skills, but I don't know how far we'll be able to get past that. So let's go ahead and start this out, and you guys will see each level incremented after that. And we got that little glitch where it doesn't show the cards. All good though. This next set of ten should get him to level one, which will give him, I believe, plus two location. And there we go. Alrighty, so there we go, and he will get at least, I think, 153 location and 151 velo when you do the 1210. So there's level one, let's keep on going. This next set, we'll get him to level two and get him plus two velo, let's go ahead and do that. And we haven't even touched the gold and diamond yet, so I'm thinking for sure we'll get to level six, like I said. Hopefully we can get close to level nine. Don't think we'll be able to get level ten, though, but there's plus two velo, let's keep on going. Now we should be getting him to level three right here, let's go ahead and select these. Yep, this will be... Plus two more location, I believe. Got our gold special training XP. That'll help out. We do have some diamond as well. So there we go. Level three. Let's keep on going. And these next ten will give them to level four, which will give them plus two velo here. Just the gold players. So we're looking pretty good right there. All righty. So now he's got plus four location, plus two velo. And let's keep on we're going. All right. And the next ten we do right here will actually get him to level six as we have some diamond special training XP. And yes, yeah, so now he has diamond skills. You have untouchable in the last boss to diamond level seven. And then it's just a matter of getting to level ten to get um, last boss to level to, to level eight. And with the last ten diamond cards we have, this will get him to level seven, which will give him plus two location, velo and fastball. And there we go. So I'll say that was a pretty successful special training right there. Hopefully after next week or the week after that, we can get him to level 10. We should be there pretty soon. Loving this card. Now let's go ahead and try and get some skills on Kuo. And actually real quick, I want to show you guys the stats and skills now on Gagne. Getting to special train level 7. There's the breakdown of everything and here are the skills. We got last boss and untouchable diamond level 7. We get to level 10 special training. We'll make last boss level 8. This card will be locked down. It has been and I'm super excited to see how it performs. So now let's go ahead and continue to skill change our prime Kuo. Last week we got dominant and finesse pitcher on a set but no third skill and it was low level. So we kept that in the backup slot. We're going to keep rolling with these 26 right here. 
see if we can have some more luck roll a good setup man set that would be awesome but here we go three two one on the first one can we get first one luck and of course giant crusher fool's gold love to see it diamond pitcher finesse pitcher setup man that'd be awesome no thank you for the all level ones i appreciate it this may be my favorite thing ever is getting a 333 with all useless skills only thing that would have made it better is if it was a triple chocolate I think when we're done with all these today, we've gone through 50 on him, and there's our second triple chocolate. Looking good, Kuo, looking good. All right, we're down to our last one. We are definitely past the 50 mark on this card in terms of skill change tickets. Last skill change ticket, uh, yeah, no, we're not gonna get luck on the last one. I just don't see why we can't get set up, man, and, uh, or something like that. That would be sweet, because I don't wanna use him as a middle relief, and he can't be my closer, so. Uh, limited options, but uh, we're yeah, through about 50 of these on this card, and still nothing. Might hit the triple digit mark to get a good set on them, but at least we tried, right? For those of you guys wondering, we're not going to finish the train on this card until we get a good skill set that I want to stick with because that could determine how we want to finish it. We got 17 locations, 12 velo, 5 stamina, 5 fastball, and 9 break. 29 to the left is the most I've ever had through 17. We used amps, we'll be able to get 38, which is by far the most on my team. Looking good. Sadly, we couldn't get any skills, but that's okay. Okay, and let's go ahead and finish this video off with some arcade mode. I haven't done this in a while, and I'm recording this on a Monday. We got a new pitcher, Burns. Let's see if we can beat our high score of 2.3 million so far. All the bonuses. Let's get this thing going. All right, good start right there. Perfect, perfect home run. We do have a misprevention as well. Let's see what we can do. His changeup's kind of disgusting too, and he has a lot of movement on his pitches, so I don't know how I'm going to do this week, but I do like how fast he throws. He doesn't take a, have a long windup, so that helps out a little bit. And I haven't played arcade mode as much recently. The rewards just don't feel worth it to me anymore, at least in my position. So I, uh, I, and now we already lost it. You know what? Changeups can just, can go, can go. I don't even know. I'm just, I'm aggravated. Every time it's a changeup. When are we going to get a pitcher that doesn't have a changeup? We haven't had one of those guys in a long time. Like where's the guys that just have a curveball or where's the like, there's a pitcher every now and then that doesn't really have a curveball or changeup. They just have like a slider and that's where I got my max of like 5 million before. And I just don't know when that's going to happen again. But we should be at our record. Yeah, we will be able to. We got four as long as we get all these bonus balls. At least we bit, beat our high record early on so far. I'll take that. That should put us at what? 2.3. So these next two, we should be able to get 2.5 for sure. Might get 2.6. Alright, this wasn't as bad as I thought it was, but it's still kind of annoying. Those changeups, man. I say it every time, but... All right, so we almost got 2.7 million. That moves us into gold one as well. Early on, we'll probably drop back if we don't play any more to like gold two or three. I don't really care. Hope you guys enjoyed that arcade mode though. All right, and that's gonna do it for this one. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys did, go ahead and leave a like and subscribe. And with that said, I'll see you guys next time.